So when we talk about brakes, we're actually talking about the device that's going to be holding tension within your pulley system. In front of me, I have a couple of different styles. Um, on the right here, uh, I have a couple um, rock climbing belay devices. We call these camming, uh, camming brakes. And there's a couple pros and cons um, with this style of device. Um, some of the pros are they're very accessible, very affordable. Um, the handles make, a, a very, make it very easy to release. Um, and I guess the, the biggest con of these style of uh, braking devices is the fact that they have a fairly high um, efficiency loss. Anytime you're going around a fixed object or a fixed um, metal part, you're, you're pretty much reducing your efficiency by 50%. So that's really the biggest downside on these. Um, and when we talk about the, the Petzl Grigri as well, um, these also have a plastic handle, so you want to make sure you don't overload these because you can bend the handle. Um, another style of uh, brake is a progress capture device. We have a couple different styles in front of me, um, starting with the, the MPD. This is an, an industrial brake, super overkill, but very, very efficient. Fortunately, these things are about four, $700 a piece, so they're fairly unattainable for most slackliners. Um, we also have um, a protraction here. Um, this has a pulley inside with a, a tooth camming lobe to, to capture progress. Um, the downside of this is you have to actually load it a little bit to be able to release the cam lobe and it kind of creates for a difficult um, releasing situation. And probably the best and most affordable um, progress capture is the, the combination pulley with a VT knot or a distal hitch. Um, this is very affordable, super efficient, and it doesn't take a lot of, of different components to get it to work. Um, this is the trend for, for lightweight, efficient um, braking systems within your slackline pulley systems.